Welcome to another episode of Bison Insider. I'm your host, Mr. John McLemore, and today I am joined by another one of our young professionals. Please help me welcome Ms. Marquet Crestel. How are you doing, Marquet? I'm good. How are you? Uh, you know what? I'm fantastic. Um, thunderstorm's coming. I can hear it rumbling. It's kind of nice when you have that summer thunderstorm and you're like, yay! Um, I don't know. I get, I get giddy of weird things. Um, okay, so let's start with some really e easy questions for you. Where are you from? Steel, North Dakota. Steel, North Dakota. That's like in between Jamestown and Bismarck, right? Yes. Wow. That's like out in boonies, I think. <laughs> Pretty much in the middle of nowhere, yeah. Well, you know, we got to be from somewhere. Might as well be from the middle of nowhere. <laughs> um, what is a short-term goal for you? Say three months. Uh, three months, I hope to be back on center and finishing my trade. <laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, let, you know, since you're, you're looking for a trade, and I don't know what trade you're taking, I mean, I think... CNA. I know, you're a CNA. Okay. Why'd you choose CNA? It was the easiest one. <laughs> no, um, my family, uh, a bunch of my family members have been CNAs, and I just thought it would be... Nice. Okay, so I assume you, you like to help people in need? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's get into a little bit more fun questions or silly questions. These are kind of just designed to kind of get to know you a little bit more so that we can kind of see into the, uh, into the portal of who Marquet is. So the first one, what is your favorite animal? Horses. Horses, okay. Uh, from talking to you before, I would have thought you would have said dog, but I mean, that's just me. <laughs> um, how about a favorite music genre or style of music? Kind of like them all, but mostly country. It's what I was, it's what I was raised on, country. So. Okay. That's, are, are you talking like the new style country that all the new hipster? The old style. So more the country western, the honky tonks type yeah. stuff. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I can support that. Um, this country pop stuff is just, I'm not a big fan. Um, mm -hmm. What is your favorite thing to do when you're alone? Read. Read. Or listen to music or both. I had a feeling that that was the case. <laughs> I feel like you are probably one of those bookworms that has a thousand books in your room. You've read them at least five times and you're kind of looking around going, I need more. Yeah. Okay. Um, who would you rather spend the day with? Scooby-Doo? My mom. Oh, wait. Hold on. I got a list here. I mean, mom is a good answer. Mom is a great answer. Sorry. <laughs> but in this question, who would you rather spend the day with? Scooby-Doo or Pluto? Scooby-Doo. Why Scooby? I don't know. I like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> There's no right or wrong answer. <laughs> uh, both of them are dogs. Both of them are hypothetical dogs, they're cartoons, and um, maybe you'll solve some mysteries with Scooby instead of Pluto. I don't know. Maybe. Um, what would you say one thing that is a character trait or a strength of yours? Uh, uh, I'm a good listener. Okay. What, uh, what does it take to be a good listener? I don't know. <laughs> I just always been a good listener. Um, just stop talking about yourself for two seconds and listen to somebody else talk about themselves. Perfect. Perfect. Answer. <laughs> I love it. Um, what is one thing that you miss the most about being on center? My friends. Yeah. I have heard that a lot. Um, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> the student that went before you in the video who nominated you um, also said the same thing. And, and kind of one reason why he nominated you is because you're friends, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, just a few more, just a few more minutes left for this interview. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so out of these items, 
which do you think is the most important? I'm going to read you a list here. Leash, a bowl, nail clippers, a collar, or a chew toy? <laughs> um, well, I guess if you have a dog, probably a leash. But if you're just, like, for yourself, maybe nail clippers or a bowl. Bowl. Okay. Yeah, there's a... You know, I kind of took this off of uh, off the fact that I knew that you have a dog, and do. uh, and that's kind of where I figured uh, that would uh, that would kind of come into play. Which one was more important for the dog? Um, I was going to throw something in there like dog food or the actual dog, but you know that would just kind of throw <laughs> out the window. Uh, so we have come to the end of our silly questions and our, and our kind of our back and forth stage, but I wanted to give you an opportunity, Marque, to talk to your fellow students for a second and give some positive encouragement um, since we're all doing this distance learning right now. Um, I know a lot of people are struggling and, and you guys talking about uh, the encouragement that you can give is sometimes a lot more well received than just us as staff saying it. So what are some positive encouraging words you can leave with us today? Um, well, just keep your head up. Um, distance learning is difficult, especially if you haven't done it before. But um, if you just take the time, uh, take like maybe 30 minutes to an hour out of your day, or every now and then to do something like math or reading or something in your trade, um, it is definitely worthwhile. So just keep pushing on. Good words, good words of encouragement. I know that's going to help some, uh, some, a lot of our students who are who are struggling at the moment. Um, and time management is kind of one of those things that kind of um, it helps to have some time management. You know, mm -hmm. dig out some time specifically for school, but also dig out some time for yourself too. Um, so with that question being asked, that does mean that we are unfortunately out of time. So for all of you who are watching and who are wanting to be a part of this, all you gotta do is send me an email um, or even send me a response to the video and I'll get you on and get you scheduled. Um, <clears throat> share this with your friends so that they can see what's going on and uh, hit, head over to our Facebook page, The Burdick Job Corps Community. That's where you can find all of our past episodes. Um, some encouraging words and any kind of news updates. So as long as we start getting information, uh, we start releasing that information to you guys. And that's where one of the great places to start is. Um, so before I leave us with the with the final thought for the for today, Marque, I'm going to let you uh, uh, do a call out uh, for the next student who you think would be good to be uh, featured on Bison Insider. Um. It's a tough one. There's so many. Uh, Caitlin Ponzarella. Okay. So, Caitlin, if you're watching this, I'll be contacting you because you have been nominated as Marquet was nominated. So, uh, get ready for that uh, and we'll see what we can do as far as to get you on. So, uh, again, traditionally speaking, I leave this with one final thought. So, Marquet, your final thought for today. What do you call a cloud that is out of breath? I don't know. Winded. <laughs> okay, that, that should have been. Well, okay, I can see that uh, I've, I've, I've satisfied of yet another customer. <laughs> um, she is so, she is, she thinks it's so hilarious that obviously she's not laughing very hard. So maybe I have to go back to the drawing board and that's okay. Um, so just as a reminder to everybody who's out there watching, we just want to remind you to stay safe and we'll see you soon.